Therefore, we listen to Dhamma talks in order for wisdom to arise. It is not a matter of listening and believing everything straight away. But we shouldn't deny things immediately either. That's what the Buddha said. In the Kama Sutta, he said, don't believe anything just because it is tradition, just because it is popular. Just because it says so in the scriptures, just because it sounds reasonable, etc. But these days we tend to believe or disbelieve straight away because we don't know. And so a religion is a teaching of one who knows. But teachings that lead to wisdom are hard to find. The first principles and teaching of the Buddha are two things that are very valuable and of great assistance. Namely, sati, recollection, and sampanjana, full awareness. That is what, what we're doing when we turn up the hand. We are fully aware. When raising the arm, recollect what you are doing. And when you stop, know it. Be aware of your hand moving to your belly button. Turn up your left hand. Be aware. Raise the arm like this, knowing it. When it stops, know it. Cover your right hand with your left, being aware. When the hand comes to a standstill, know it. It is not as if you bring your hand over it and you're not aware of stopping. Really know it. Slide the hand slowly up to the chest, knowing it. When the movement comes to an end, be aware of it. Just to feel it in a light way is sufficient. Come over here and feel it. Be aware of stopping. Lower the hand. Be aware. Contact the feeling. Turn the hand over. Know it. This is the meaning of being aware of minor postures. The practice has great value. The two things that are of great assistance, sati, recollection, we recollect straight away. And sampanjana, full awareness, we are fully aware. This practice gives rise to wisdom. One is able to solve one's problems. The value of being able to deal with one's problems that we no longer believe in things that are meaningless. Therefore, we used to believe in silly things without using the wisdom that exists within us. Therefore, everyone should study oneself, whatever nationality, religion, sex, or age you may have. I guarantee that everybody without exception can come in touch with this knowing. Why do I guarantee this? Because everybody is the same in having a body and a mind Rupa and Nama. We all have two eyes, two ears, and a nose. Thais are like this. Chinese are the same. French, English, Germans, Americans, Cambodians, Vietnamese. Laotians and the people in the time of the Buddha, we're all the same in this respect. It's good to study from books, but not as good as studying within ourselves. When we practice like this, it is the knowledge we get real or not. What do you say? The Dhamma that should be studied is our actions, speech, and thoughts. All the scriptures are to be found right here. On the other hand, we can study the books, but this is a shortcut method of study. It is like snapping one's fingers. It is the shortest and straightest way, and one is totally sure. I can guarantee that within three years, at the most, one year as a medium, and one to ninety days as the quickest. One will be able to solve one's own problems. There won't be any suffering in your mind. Or it will have lessened to the smallest extent. And for some people, it will be eradicated altogether. 
We have to reserve ourselves in order to understand what the law of nature and the three universal characteristics are. Dakam means to be subject to causes and conditions. Anakam means impermanence and anatta refers to our ability, inability to control us. When we go and practice, we will actually know this for ourselves. When we practice with this method, making movements and being aware continuously, we get to know what dukkham is, what it means, that things cannot endure, that they have to move and change. It is impossible to stay still. The postures are dukkham. For example, blinking the eyes, breathing and thinking are all dukkham. We learn this by looking at ourselves, not from books. We can understand reality and being aware of this phantom long body. We may all study ourselves. Dukkham is one with the body. Rupa and Rupa and Nama are connected inseparably. Anakam means impermanent and not lasting. It is impossible to sit completely unmoving. The body has to perform its duties. Anatta means to, that we can't command things this way or that. We can see some blinking, his, someone blinking his or her eyes, but we can't see someone thinking. And so there are different levels of Dhamma. It is like a coconut. It has an outer bark, a shell, the white stuff inside and coconut oil. ถ้าเข้าไปด้านนั้นมันเป็นขาวๆเรียกว่านายมันแล้วนายมันกับน้ํามันมันอยู่ด้วยกันใช่มั้ยมะพร้าวมันมีเปลือกมีคาราit is the same way we can study what a person is and what a person's duties are on different levels. If we don't know these things, it's like doing things the wrong way. Some Dhamma talks of Long Tien have been recorded and published in books. For example, Practicing Meditation, To One That Feels, Confidence, Realizing the Truth, Someone Who Is Real Can Know What Is Real, The Truth, A New Life, and Normality. Long Po Tien, Tan Pert Kaan Op Rom Poo Pati Bat Tham Nai Thi Deng Taang Lai Heng, Nai Tela Heng, Tupming Kwan Monastery is situated in Liri province, not far from the city. These days, Tupming Kwan Monastery has enlarged its territory. It is now on an island with the Liri River flowing all around it. That makes the place pleasantly cool 